Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Sharp Weekly. And in this video, I want to show you one of the really cool features of Xcode 13, which is regarding creating your documentation using Docc. Let's go ahead and get started. I've already downloaded Xcode 13 beta, so I'm just gonna launch that. And once it is launched, I can go ahead and create a project. Now, keep in mind that whenever you're trying to create a documentation, currently the documentation is available for only Swift package. So if you create a project like a Swift UI project, those documentation tools are not really going to work. So let's go ahead and create a Swift package. And let's say that we are creating a package for ordering hot coffee. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say hot coffee, but you can obviously name your package anything that you want. Let's go ahead and make sure that our font size is pretty decent. Okay. Now we have a couple of different files over here. Hot coffee, which contains a hot coffee file, as you can see. And it's not really much going on. It's just a public struct hot coffee, public, because we do want to use it in our different targets, different modules. So that's why we're using public. Now, if I want to create the documentation using the new Doxy control or the tool, I can simply go to product and select build documentation. Now, the first time it's gonna run, it's going to be a little bit slow, but since we don't really have anything in our project, you can see it comes up with this. Right over here on the pane, you can see workspace documentation along with all the other Apple stuff. I can go ahead and click on hot coffee. You can see really nice documentation, nice formatting, just like Apple documentation. We have init, we have text, everything is available. So it looks, uh, looks actually really good. I can also click on hot coffee and I can jump onto hot coffee. So it looks exactly like Apple's documentation. Now let's go back to our code. And what I want to do is, I don't really care that much about the hot coffee file. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file. And I will call it coffee ordering service, pretty long name. Let's go ahead and create this class coffee ordering service. And if I want this class to be exposed to the outside module, and you should, since you're creating a package, we're just gonna mark it with public. Currently, this particular class, which is called coffee ordering service, does not really have any documentation. The one of the good ways to add placeholders is to just click command click and say add documentation. This is going to add the description because for the class, that's the only thing you want to write, like the description. So we're just gonna say coffee ordering service. I mean, you can obviously write some other stuff also. Now, if I go ahead and build my documentation again, I should be able to see coffee ordering service because it is marked with public. I can go ahead and check out coffee ordering service. This is a text that we wrote. Obviously, it would be a good idea if you can write a little bit more text like the description and the declaration. Now, currently, we don't really have any functions over here inside the coffee ordering service. So how do we add a function? Well, we can just go ahead and add a function and say order. We can go ahead and pass in the email. And we will also go ahead and pass in the actual coffee that you want to order. It doesn't really matter what I'm typing over here. I mean, I'm just trying to create a function. Currently, we don't really have anything called coffee. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new file which will be coffee. Let's go ahead and create a struct for coffee. We will create it as public. 
the coffee will have a some sort of a name and a coffee can also have a size of the coffee which will be coffee size now obviously there is no such thing as coffee size so we will go ahead and create an enum for the coffee size which can be small medium or large we will also go ahead and make this public so that everyone can see it now we can go back to our coffee ordering service we will order the coffee over here and that's fine now right now if i go ahead and build the documentation you can see that the coffee ordering service is not really showing us anything it's just showing us the actual class and that's it by the way you can always go over here to product and click on build documentation but i'm using the shortcut to create documentation so in order for this order function to be exposed we can go ahead and mark this with public let's recreate our documentation again and now you can see that our function exists but this particular function doesn't really have any documentation it's hard to tell what these parameters actually do let's go ahead and click command click on the order and select add documentation and you can see that since I have clicked on the actual function I can write a little bit more documentation which includes the description of the function the parameters which are email and coffee for the description I'm just going to write this function or if used to order coffee now let's go ahead and jump onto the parameters email of the user and then we have the coffee description this basically means includes or represents the type of coffee and that's it let's go ahead and rebuild our documentation and you can see that over here that we have stuff over here which is saying the function is used to order coffee I can go to the actual function by clicking on the function and it will take me to order coffee we have different links over here I can click on the coffee which will take me back to the coffee so you can see it's pretty cool that we can just jump around different places we can also add a instance to go to the coffee from right here you can see that we have a coffee struct already created but if you want to jump to that particular struct you can also do that represent the type of coffee over here we can simply drag this and put double this uh, double uh, ticks and select whatever we want I'm going to select coffee over here this means that this is more of a link now and it will allow me to click on the coffee and it will take me to the coffee let's go ahead and try to do that again and you can see that well over here uh, in the description right here actually I can click on the coffee and I can go to the coffee so if you want that kind of approach you can definitely do that obviously I could click over here and go to the coffee also which does not really have any documentation let's go back to the coffee you can see the coffee doesn't really have anything so I'm just going to say command click add documentation represents the coffee ordered by the user and for each of these things you can also add documentation name of the coffee and then add documentation which is size of the coffee and you get the idea
Now let's go to rebuild it. And over here we have coffee. Make sure that if you want to expose this, then we will have to make sure that it is also marked as public. And let's run it again. And this time you can see all of the stuff, all the different properties associated with coffee are also listed over here. Pretty cool. And we were able to create this documentation very, very fast. So this is kind of like a very basic introduction to the doc C, which was introduced in Xcode 13. Right now, Xcode 13 is in beta, and the one that I'm using is, I believe, it is beta 2. But uh, this is a really, really a good step forward in direction. You can also have a, a lot of other things that you can add. Uh, if you don't use double quotes, then, and you want to use a single quote, you can do that. A single quote is basically just for formatting. So let's say email of the user, and if I want to say as string, but I want to format string a little bit differently, then I can do it like this. Now, in the coffee ordering service, whenever we see string, it will be written in a little bit of a different way or nice way. All right, let's go ahead and see where it is. If I can find it. There we go. You can actually see a little bit different. You can see string is written as formatted. So you can all do all of those different kind of things. Just make sure that you realize that this is available currently only in if you're creating packages, Swift packages. So if you already have the Swift UI application or another iOS app and you try to run the documentation tool, it's not really going to work. It's not really going to generate anything. So in this video, you learn about the new documentation doc C tool that will allow you to quickly write documentation using your code. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my Udemy courses. I have a lot of different courses on Udemy, including my new course on GraphQL, Surf UI. I've already added a couple of different sections on Surf UI course, MVVM design pattern, RX Swift, Combine, Core Data course also, and a lot more. So check out the YouTube description for all the links for the courses. Thank you so much, and I really hope that you have enjoyed this video.